Time to talk ball with John Robinson, presented by Duncan. Before we talk ball, let's talk new Titans Stadium. Earlier this week, the Titans and the city came to an agreement on building a new stadium. Burke Nihill, our president and CEO, discussed it earlier in the show. So, John, from a football standpoint, what excites you the most about the new stadium in downtown Nashville? Well, I think I'm most excited for our fans to, ha to have a new place to come uh, experience our game, to watch our players. Um, I'm sure it'll have all the latest and greatest uh, technology and new things uh, for them to enjoy the game. Uh, and then for our players, our coaches our, and our staff, we'll be fired up um, for the new venue. Uh, to go out and play, coach, or work, you know, at the game we love. You had the bye, so you played two weeks ago against Washington. Where do you hope the Titans have improved the most in those two weeks? I think it's the details and the fundamentals that, you know, happen in every single play. You know, the players aren't going to be perfect snap after snap after snap, but if they can understand the details of what each play is trying to accomplish uh, and then go out and execute those plays, with the fundamentals and the techniques that we coach, that we know when, I think the overall consistency of our football team will improve. The Colts, the opponent this Sunday at Nissan Stadium, since you played them on October 2nd, they have clawed out, come from behind wins at Denver and over Jacksonville. What has stood out to you the most about the Colts in those two weeks? Yeah, I think it's those tough, gritty performances that they've just stayed in games uh, and kept scratching and clawing, as you alluded to. You know, four of their uh, their last game, their last four games have all been one-score games, uh, and they find we've talked before about the four or five plays that you know come up in a game that generally determine the outcome of, of the of the game. And the Indy has found a way to make those four or five plays. Is Matt Ryan easily coming off his best performance as a Colt? Yeah, I thought he played really well. You know, I think he threw it 58 times. Uh, three touchdowns, no, you know, no interceptions. He took care of the ball well. I think he completed 72% of his passes. I thought the O-line protected well. The receivers got open. Uh, he did a really nice job distributing the football and that throw, you know, that last one to Pierce at the end of the game you know, to win it with less than 20 seconds on third down was a heck of a throw. The defensive tackle who's so dominant, DeForest Buckner, last two games, three sacks, he's back on track, right? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's one of the premium defensive tackles uh, in the National Football League. He's long, he's quick, he's fast, he's got range. Um, he's a really instinctive player. Um, whether it's defending the run or rushing the passer, he factors uh, on most plays. I'd say every opponent that plays Indy, uh, the offensive staff certainly have him circled as a guy they got to take care of. What do you have to do better against the Indianapolis Colts Sunday at Nissan Stadium than you did at Indy on October 7th? Well, I think defensively, Mike, it's eliminating those chunk plays. Uh, in that first game, uh, we gave up 365 yards total for the game. Uh, unfortunately, 151 of those yards came on five plays. So those big chunk plays where they eat up tons of yardage in only one play, we've got to eliminate those. Uh, and then offensively, it's it's being better on third down, especially in the second half. I thought we did a lot of good things in the first half, moving the football, uh, but we've got to sustain drives in the second uh, half, keep the football, get it down to the red zone and score points. Finally, Delaney Walker announced his retirement as a Titan earlier this week on Tuesday. What did he mean to the team most during that period for you? Super talented, unique skill set, um, a great guy in the locker room. He was a leader. Um, he was a guy that when a play needed to be made, uh, his number certainly was at the top of the list of guys to get the ball to, uh, to make that play. Really thankful for all he's done for the organization and the community.